Terry Stotts has finally been fired. After a fourth first round playoff exit in five seasons, the Portland Trailblazers and coach Terry Stotts mutually agreed to part ways. Simply put, I'm glad that they didn't decide to just pull the Portland move and hold on one more year and try to run it back. So we already got some candidates expected to be considered for the job. Chauncey Billups, Jeff Van Gunny, Mike D'Antoni, and Jawan Howard. That would be interesting. I'm like 99% sure he played for Portland at like age 40 or something. Almost positive. Jeff Van Gundy is, you know, smart and intelligent and probably would help our issues not running any sets. So that would be cool, but I just, I don't know. Jeff Van Gundy would probably be an improvement. I don't know how much. The two interesting ones here, to me anyway, are Mike D'Antoni and Chauncey Billups. Mike D'Antoni, I think, would turn Lillard into basically Steve Nash, James Harden. He, I mean, that's not like a bold take or anything. You look at the teams he's had in the past, Lillard would just be that guy for his offense. You've also seen his offense not work in the playoffs plenty of times with just as good as superstar caliber players as Lillard. So, I don't know. D'Antoni would probably be exciting. I don't know if he helps our issues with defense. Chauncey Billups, I think, though, would be a really maybe more risky because he's not as proven, but I think that that would be a, a coach hire that if, if, right, a big if, if that were to work out, we'd be like, that was the first step in us getting Portland a ring in Damian Lillard's prime. Signing Chauncey Billups when maybe there were some more proven candidates out there, but we went for that because you think maybe he can provide some defense for us. Maybe he can provide some new offensive sets that we haven't been running nearly enough of in the past. I also saw this tweet by Chris Haynes that said Lillard's going to have major input on the next head coach. I think this is very important and necessary. I'm very glad that Portland didn't go the route of, well, you're just, you know, a player for us and that's nothing else. You're just one of the 15 guys. Your input doesn't matter to anybody else because that's what's going to lead him to go, well, you know what, if that's the case, we fire the coach that I have liked and you guys aren't going to let me have input, trade me to the Knicks or to the Lakers or some shit like that. But we're going to give him input. That's very great, at least reported by Chris Haynes. I don't know, you know, who he's going to think is going to help the offense or the, and the defense, more importantly, the most. According to those candidates, I don't know what he's going to think. I also saw Jason Kidd's name out there. He's from Oakland, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he's going to like Jason Kidd as a candidate and we're going to go that route just because we don't want to upset him, even though I don't know if Jason Kidd's the greatest hire for us. I don't know, but this is great news, but that's going to be it for this video. Honestly, thank you, Coach Stotts. I've been super, super critical. I know this, but the things that you have done, you definitely helped develop what, in my opinion, is the best player in this franchise history. You definitely gave him the confidence. I would say the same to CJ. But hopefully we can hire a guy that's a little more 